Hey folks, what's up? Mike Benton here from the Mike Benton team. As always, I cannot wrestle Tina to get on these videos, but soon we're going to have the Mike and Tina team on the video at the same time. She has a wealth of knowledge in real estate. I really need her to tap into it, but you got me tonight. So as, as you know, I like to bring some content. So today um, I reached out to uh, some of our buyers, past clients, uh, uh, new individuals we're talking to, and um, to find out some questions they had. You know, I went to my lenders and said, what, what are some of the questions you are seeing on a regular basis or hearing on a regular basis? So uh, there was a lot, it was a massive list. So I said, narrow down to the top four, and that's where we are right now. We're talking about the top four. So this is the top four questions our lenders are getting for, for, from potential buyers, all right? Number one, can I buy some furniture or even a car before settlement? The answer is absolutely not. Now, the curveball, what people get really messed up on is when they go to a furniture place and they say, hey, ho, 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 don't worry. You don't have to make a payment for a year. No interest. It doesn't matter. They're going to do a credit pull. That's what we need to prevent. We cannot have any credit pulls. See, right before we go to settlement, a lot of lenders will do what they call a soft pull. So what we got to make sure is, is that when they do this soft pull, they don't see anything crazy. You can hold off, folks. Listen, 30 to 60 days. Uh, if we get you on a contract, you're going to settle within 30 to 45, max 60 because of whatever reason. Just hold off spending. Just hold off, I promise you. If not, you're going to have a headache. So that's the first question. Second question, can I get money? Can I get money to help buy the property? Absolutely. It's called a gift. You can, but just remember the gift has to be documented. Where is it coming from? The person that's given the gift has to prove the income as it, or the, 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 the dollar amounts there. All right. Because you just can't say, oh yeah, I'm going to get 25,000 from my, my dad, but your dad really doesn't have any money. You can't do that. It's got to be provable. All right. So if you're going to get a gift, just realize as always, you have to to jump some hurdles. Now, real quick, let's get this clear right now. If getting a loan is a pain in the butt, you have two options. A, don't buy. B, become cash rich. That's it. If you got to get a loan, you got to play by the rules of the lender. And yes, it gets aggravating sometimes. But do you want the home? Because after you go to settlement, you're going to forget everything you went through to buy this home. All right. So that's question number two. Number three, I have some cash. Can I use it? And the answer is no most of the time. And why? Because it has to be seasoned. It has to be in your bank account for a period of time. You got to be able to document where it came from. You got to be able to prove that it's legitimate. In other words, it just can't show up. It's got to be there. Seasoned a certain amount of time, the underwriters want to know. Remember, the lender is going to talk to you, walk you through the process. The processor is going to get all the information cleaned up, but the underwriter is going to determine if you get the loan or not. So we got to make the underwriter happy, a.k.a. God. <laughs> uh, can I get mom and dad a coastline? Absolutely. But again, even though they're not occupying, just pick them up wisely because they still have to be a good product. They have to have good credit score. They have low debt to income. They got to have income. They just can't be somebody nice. It's got to be somebody who can qualify to help bring you up. If not, then you're just wasting your time. So those are the four top questions that our buyers have presented to me to be passed on to the lender or directly from the lender's mouth. Now, there's many other questions. There's many rules that apply to you, maybe not somebody else, W2, 1099. So do me a favor, hit us up, let us know what questions you have, because we want you to experience the benefit. So thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.